Rock the U is the largest student-run philanthropy event in Utah and is a year-long fundraising effort to empower and unite students from the University of Utah alumni and the community in the fight to defeat cancer. We have a goal this year to raise $100,000 and Cuts for the Cure is our first event this year and it all leads up to the dance marathon in the spring. Cuts for the Cure was successful as students, faculty, alumni, and other community members helped to raise over $1,000 which was the ultimate goal for the event. Well, I mean, it's great to support the cause. I have a couple relatives who've all been through breast cancer and everything. And I mean, $5 haircuts is pretty uh, unbeatable, I guess. Cuts for the Cure, which occurred in past years, had 18 volunteer stylists from Grey Clips and Hair Candy, making it the biggest turnout yet. Well, it's for a good cause, and uh, my, mo my mother passed away of cancer 12 years ago, so it means a lot to me to be here. Freshman Riley Coggins suffered from acute lymphoblastic leukemia, a cancer of the white blood cells, when she was only four years old. For me, I just remember never having a doubt that there was, I was going to die or like, to me there wasn't really anything like wrong with me. I just appreciate that all the, like the um, hair stylists come out and to do this and I know it takes a lot of time and effort for people to put together. I know that not only does events like this make more treatments but it makes them easier too like not so intense and so hard to go through so it really does make a difference and mean a lot. Rock the U will host several events throughout the rest of the year to raise money toward the goal. We're doing a piggy bank roundup. If you register for Rock the U, get a piggy bank to help you raise money. So we're going to be doing that in November. And we'll also be doing a fundraiser dinner later on. And then um, in the spring, we'll also be doing a fashion show that will help raise money. And then we have a bunch of fun events planned for the week of the dance marathon. But that's going to be a surprise for now. <laughs> Reporting for Newsbreak, I'm Lacey Jamison.